Alrighty guys, so today we're taking a look at the Games Workshop Space Wolves Venable Dreadnought Kit. So, here it is with the little box. Sorry guys, got some glare on the camera. So, let's take it out and look exactly what is in this set. Okay? So, first up we have the standard Space Wolf decal sheet. Alright. So, this kit comes with two sprues, okay, as you see here, and something interesting. They're no longer doing the standard Games Workshop Dreadnought base with the stones on top. And I love that, because I'm not going to lie, I hate those bases. Usually I end up throwing those out rather than actually using them, okay. So, here are two sprues, and obviously, guys, it comes with a nice set of instructions for the different variants, okay? Standard Games Workshop material, you know, build by numbers. Alright, so let's take a look at these sprues. So, the big thing people are talking about is this bit right here. This massive axe, okay? Which is really cool. You also have the weaponry for the frost cannon, a bunch of extra bits, like... There's a Space Wolf pelt. You can see some of the larger feet, right? Some of the little emblems added on, all the different availability to the Dreadnought Carapace itself. And then right here, guys, give the camera a sec, but that is the uh, Murder Fang's face, okay? And then the skulls that go on top of Murder Fang. All right. Our other side, guys, is more of a standard Dreadnought sprue. It's got uh, just the, plate, the front plate, the waist pieces, the arms, some of the weaponry. Okay, See the multi-melta. This kit does come with most of the options. It does not include the twin link glass cannon. But you get the standard assault cannon, the multi-melta, the claws, the, um, the uh, frost weaponry, the hell frost cannon. And then here's the shield. I mean, the absolute massive shield for this model. Okay. Alright, so guys, we will be right back. I'm going to build this kit and we will take a look at it afterwards. Alright, see y'all in just a few minutes. Alright, guys, so here we have the completed project. So I built this as uh, Bjorn the Fell Handed. I right, the special character Dreadnought. Now, as you notice, though, some of these arms are actually interchangeable. So, overall, the build is actually pretty easy. It's kind of about your standard Dreadnought. Okay? There are a lot of options to this kit, though, more so than the regular Dreadnought. So, first of all, the big thing that I really like is right here, this arm. Okay? You use the same arm in all the different Dreadnought variants, but luckily even without magnetizing, I can go in and put his claw on, okay? And then take that off and switch it back to the shield if I want to, okay? Which is really nice, right? The other arm, this arm is only used for this hammer and, or this axe, sorry, not hammer, this axe and um, the claws from Murderfang. Okay, so you can take it right off. You don't even need those parts. Okay, now normally with Bjorn, okay, he has a weapon option of either the twin link glass cannons, multi melta, assault cannon, or the new um, frost weapon. I forget the exact name of it. But the cool thing with this kit, unlike the others, is that this is the housing for the gun. As you can see, it actually has an opening in it. Okay that's where it'll slot into with the arm that these weapon mounts will go into okay if you look it's got the little notch for the arm and these will actually slide right in and then go right on the dreadnought okay now it's a little loose so I'm not gonna lie I think with some paint on there it'll help stiffen that up because I'm planning on being able to use any of the variants um, I'm really thinking about taking the multi melter version just just because I could put him in a drop pot. Okay? Kind of fit along with the rest of my army. 
right? But this kit's really cool. It has some really great options, if, especially if you want a custom dreadnought for your army. Okay. Now, um, if you're big into how it looks, okay, and you want that vulnerable, venerable look to do the shield and the axe with, then you won't be able to use this dreadnought for everything because of the specific look of Bjorn and Murderfang. But overall, it's a great kit. You know, it's probably something that I'm going to get a couple more in the future. I've got a tournament list where I kind of want to try this guy in there and see how well of a distraction unit he is with the Storm Shield and the Thunder Hammer dropping down in a drop pod, uh, turn one, and going, hey, deal with me right now, or it's going to hurt. Okay. But guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. We're also going to do a review of a couple other kits. And I've also got some conversion videos I'm going to do this week. Okay, Next week will be Tuesday of Space Wolf Week. And for that, I'm going to show you all how to convert a Wolf Priest from the standard Grey Hunters kit. Alright, so guys, happy wargaming. I'll see you then. For Phantom 567 Painting, this is Jordan signing off.